Hi, I'm Spencer Strauss. I'm the Director of Engineering with DCS. On our screen right here, we have 3DCS Variation Analyst embedded into CATIA V5. 3DCS Variation Analyst is our flagship product at DCS. It's a design tool which embedded in the CAD solution simulates our virtual builds based on the input tolerances to see if we are meeting our design requirements. For this specific analysis, you can see I have two separate parts. One of the parts at the bottom here is the base. The top part you'll see jiggling around a little bit. If I zoom in right over here, you're going to see a little bit of a flushness variation happening between my top and bottom items. And on the left here, we have our actual results. For this specific analysis, we were trying to keep that flushness between about plus or minus 0.3 millimeters. And we ended up, you can see, with some red bars on the outside on the upper end and some red bars outside on the lower end for about 8% out of spec. Now, at this point, 3DCS can help you identify which of the tolerances we should actually consider tightening up in order to get inside of those design requirements during the design phase. And then we can confidently go to manufacturing with the assumption or the idea that we should be able to meet those assembly level requirements. And that's where we fit into this entire um, Sandvik solution set uh, is that at the front end we're doing the design, we're gathering confidence that our design is going to work once we go to manufacturing. And then once we go to manufacturing, we can communicate some important measurement points to um, the Silma X4 and Metrolog X4 solutions. And then all the way on the back end, once QDM has received the measured results from the X4 solution, uh, we can actually take that data back into our 3DCS simulation. And now, now that we're in the manufacturing phase, we can actually run the analysis again with real data instead of the assumptions at the outset about what our capabilities will be.